Well, we made it through another week. It's Friday. Good morning. Friday, September the 17th. And uh, so glad you've been with us all week and uh, joined us here for this last day. We've been talking about one little verse, Joshua chapter 13 and uh, verse 1. And it's a very interesting verse. Whether You remember the Lord says, Joshua, you're getting old, son. That's the Sisk translation. You're getting old, son, but there's still land to be possessed. It's not over till it's over. And we've been talking about the difference between inheritance, what God has given us, and possession, taking that that God has given us. And uh, it happens in Joshua 12 and Joshua 13 and following uh, for several chapters how God tells them how to take possession of the land he's already given them. And it even gets to so specific of the king's names, every king that they're to, to be defeated in every area. And what they've done is they've concentrated, they've concentrated on an area between the Jordan River and the Mediterranean, uh, Lebanon to the north and uh, the desert to the south. Uh, now God is saying to them, you're not through yet. You're not done. You had possessed everything I've given you. There's more land to be possessed. And we've been talking about here uh, the, these last two or three days, three words that uh, are, are trigger points for us possessing what God has given us. What has God done? One of them is surrender, the, the surrender of our life and everything we have and everything he's done for us, surrender to him. And not only our lives, but everything in our lives, we consecrate for him. Uh, that is all of our abilities, all our gifts, where he has placed us, what he has given us to do, uh, that is to be set apart for the Lord's use. That's one of the terms that's sacred that means it's set apart for God's use. And consecration is the act of setting that apart, uh, of a formal declaration. God, you are uh, responsible for everything you've done in me, and I give it back to you. That's consecration. That's uh, giving him uh, everything he's given you. And then the third word that we're going to look at today is the word appropriation. Surrender, consecration, set apart for his use, and appropriation. Now, God has already taken possession of us. He has possessed us in a good way. He owns us. We are his. Now, appropriation for the believer. Now, come in here close. We are his. Appropriation means we act like it. We act like we're his. In other words, we accept his possession of us, that he owns us. We accept that. And in turn, we receive and act upon everything that he has made available to us. And that's what's called possessing our possession. He's already given it to us. He's already done miraculous things in our lives. And, and appropriation means we, we receive and possess that which is our possession. And that's what he's telling the people here in Joshua chapter 12, 13 and following, that I have given you this land for your possession. Take it. Possess it. Settle in it. Live in it. I've already driven away in front of you those who are in there now. And they didn't do it all. They still haven't done it all. And we still fight to this day because of that. Now, how do we know when we approach the end of our days as individuals that we have possessed it all? There's an interesting thing in verse 6 of chapter 13. Down in verse 6, and he's talking about the two and a half tribes that didn't go into Israel. They, they wanted to settle on the east side of Jordan. And you remember Joshua said, you can, you can that's fine, you can settle on the east side of Jordan, but your fighting men have to go with us and, and take the land. So they did. Their fighting men went across the river Jordan, fought alongside their brothers, and uh, when it came time then to divide the land, the Lord is reminding Joshua, hey, you got some land on the east side of Jordan. 
that uh, two and a half tribes of Israel are, it's their possession. Don't think just because the land has had rest from war, don't think that's it because you got two and a half tribes you got to deal with. And it's interesting in verse six of Joshua 13, he says it this way. He says, and this is very interesting. He says, be sure to allocate this land to Israel for an inheritance as I have instructed you. Huh, this land, land on the east side of the Jordan River. Uh, that would be Syria and uh, Iran, I mean Iraq, and uh, other lands there. He says, but how was it to be allocated? Well, in the King James, it says by lot. By lot, in other words, uh, for the most part, they let God choose their portion for them, that God is allocating them. And isn't that what happened with Abraham and Lot? You remember Lot had the first choice and Lot chose Sodom and Abraham let God choose his portion. So be sure and allocate this land to Israel for an inheritance by Lot. In other words, let me choose that. Now here's the thing about appropriation. When you let God do the choosing in your life, and you seek him before you make choices, then he will appropriate the things that you need. Surrender, that's giving everything to him. Consecrate, that's saying, Lord, everything I have is set apart for your use. And appropriation means you let God choose for you. Folks, live your life in such a way that you seek God, and then you see everything that comes as coming from his hand. Let him choose your inheritance, and then possess it. God bless you. Now, we'll come back on Monday, and I'm not sure we may wrap up a little bit more in Joshua but uh, we may be finished with Joshua because we've hit the main points that uh, we need to hit. And uh, I'll pray about it over the weekend. We'll see where we start on Monday morning. But we'll be doing something that hopefully will help you on Monday morning. God bless you guys. Have a great weekend. And wherever you go, go somewhere and worship the Lord with God's people. Bless you. Have a good weekend.